Okay. Okay. Hi, Duane. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. Yes, it's been a while since last time I spoke with Duane. Yes, it's been about a year, I guess, eh? About a year and also two years ago, almost two years ago, you helped me with uh, uh, really, uh, releasing my negative inner critics. Remember? Yes, yes. I've had uh, sessions by Duane about four times, five times in the past. Mm -hmm. Uh, several uh, it was several years ago and at the time he helped me I was really severely grieving from a uh, uh, loss of my soulmate do yeah. you remember you might not remember oh, that yeah. oh yes I remember okay and he really really helped me with uh, overcome the grief and also he helped me with uh, um, so you actually, you are a professional, Duane is a professional hypnotherapist and his way is very unique because yes. you, you just, you know, let the clients, you know, like be conscious, not closing eyes, like mm -hmm. eyes are wide open and very That's conscious. Yeah, right. you can hypnotize or de-hypnotize clients. The thing with this is that a lot of people uh, don't recognize that they're going into a trance when they're watching television. So there was another type of trance. Uh, and this trance uh, is very effective in the way that it uh, uses an ability to blend the conscious and the, and the, I call it the greater mind. Some people call it the unconscious. But to blend these two aspects of yourself rather than keeping them separate. With closed eye deep trance, you're keeping it separate, okay? And so here, uh, you're working on a deep level, but yet, does it bridge across to our conscious everyday life? I found in the years of doing the work that it didn't. It is when it, that's why I developed this style of working with open-eyed trance states. Open-eyed trance states. Yeah. And um, I really think you're, I don't know, it's you, the Dwayne Hartman, uh, you know, as a powerful soul, you have the like, special type of ability that you can hypnotize people with uh, eye contact, your eyes and also your voice. Does, does your voice have some type of special frequency and your eyes emit some type of special lightings? That's what I kind of feel. When I, when I uh, early on in my life, um, I was, I, I guess it's okay to say on your show, I was approached by some beings, mm -hmm. and they said that most of humanity misses home. So the frequency of home is very important to have them go back to a state of home within themselves. You see, people are reaching for things and reaching for everything outside of themselves when they really need to just go home inside of themselves. Uh, like the, the story goes, once upon a time in a land deep within, that's where it all began, right? But people are out here trying to find a person or a thing, but it's really themselves. So my whole practice is based on coming into yourself to find and to bring out those abilities that you have, right? And everybody not, has them. But not everybody can do that. So because, you know, you do like professionally, you help anybody that they want to bring back their own power within or they want to de de hypnotize they are negative programming that they yes. have built, they have formed over the course of a lifetime, right? Yes. Not everybody can do that. How, so why you, Duane, please explain that. Why, you know, you are like one of the chosen, few chosen people? Well, um, uh, I feel that anybody can do it, but I often hear that, no, uh, you have something there that, other people 
want to want to know about. Um, for me, it's quite easy. Uh, I was kind of uh, gifted after meeting these beings. I was gifted with this approach, and it and and I went into deep meditation and and studied what was going on with humanity, and 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 felt my way through it as to what it is that that is stopping people from coming into their own god or goddess within right and that if they were in that state then they would be able to to take care of their own things their own depressions their own joys their own and and and, and be able to to resonate in the vibrations they need to to accelerate rather than focusing on the things that drag them down, you see. So, I went to work meditate, meditating on what it is that was the human condition, and how to be able to to shift that with people, utilizing their the most important gift, their own imagination. Own imagination. So and being able to change states. Yes. Yeah. So you say when you are a child, uh, some beings visited you. So those beings that who, uh, visited you, are they from uh, um, some like different other planets or different dimensions? Beings, beings from different dimensions? It's, it's hard for me to answer that precisely because I don't know. Uh, they looked they looked like beings from another place another planet but it could have been another dimension uh, a friend of mine and i were driving uh, down the road and we were taken right off the road car and all into this it looked like a ship but it could have been just another dimension right so it it didn't they didn't look like uh, as human beings oh no uh, they they had similar features if you could see them beyond the glow that was happening. Uh, it was hard to see their features because they glow so brilliantly, so bright. Wow. Um, and they didn't walk, you know, they just kind of floated across um, as, you know, and they were very concerned about an upcoming... Uh, restriction that was going to happen to the human race as far as the human race going into uh, a state of of suppression and that they needed to know that there was a doorway and it was actually a mental doorway that they could open and step beyond the suppression that was taking place that they were actually free beings so they were very adamant about that so they are so they are telling you to uh, help others, humanities. That's yes. your like a mission, type of a life purpose. A life path, yeah. I tried to get off the life path because I was young. I tried to get off it, and I was always brought right back to remember why you're here. I right. see. I, I remember Dwayne that you started. Um, be, uh, helping humanity as a hypnotherapist professionally since 1999. Am That's I right. correct? That's right. And you're the, the, the desire to help people was right when I was a child. I was helping them, you know, imagine and being able to reawaken their imagination because that's really what's happened to humanity is they got they got uh, they got suppressed in the area that they can imagine something different. As soon as you imagine something different, you start to feel it. Once you feel it, then then your vibration changes. When your vibration changes, then you attract different a different scenario. You see, right. you def a different reality. But by taking away the imagination in the school system, in you know, in in upbringing. By taking away the imagination, they took away our most powerful gift. Right. So to move ourselves out of sticky situations. Exactly. So yeah, right now, up to now, at least uh, thousands of years, I really think we, as human beings on the planet Earth, we've been suppressed, we've been manipulated. Yes. Yep. 
So we've been and, controlled. And, and uh, that, that's coming to a very abrupt close. But the, par the thing of it is, is that people still don't know how to use their imagination, even if it does go closed. So they're going to need people to help them work, work through this area of starting to expand their mind again and, cre and create, do their own creation. Right. right. So, yeah, I have, a, I, I wrote a lot of questions, but um, yeah, oh. you, I really think that, I think you mentioned it too, and my friend actually, uh, who is a very um, awakened soul, who is a psychic, who told me once I show her your videos, that your past, like many of your past lives, you've been actually doing the similar things as like you are hypnotizing people <laughs> and sometimes your ability you in the past life you use it in a somewhat negative ways like you manipulated people too do you have any memories of that I'm no, just no not at all uh but uh no to be honest I don't um uh but i do have memory of me being here and working working before in the times of suppression uh, back in ancient Egypt yeah. and also back in uh, in a, an ancient time in Ireland uh, being able to stand for the sovereign right of the of the human being but like all past lives I'm sure there were times where I probably drifted off and did an opposite thing uh, you know to gain because there are some things in me now that really hold a straight uh and i must have got that from somewhere to keep it focused right because you don't use it for for evil at all <laughs> and you have very i think a deep connection like you mentioned it with this, uh, some uh, egyptian gods and deities goddesses do you yes. still feel close connections to them yes yeah, yeah, like Horus behind me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I feel Horace. very, very deep connections um, uh, with, with, with that time. You see, there was an interesting thing happened when the beings took us and then brought us back down. We were still moving in the car. We were still driving. You know, it was three hours later, but they dropped us back on the highway and the car was still moving at the time the car was still moving there was an image of anubis it looked like for real right in front of us that we had to swerve around and this scared us and we had amnesia for what happened and that was part of the part of the, the what they wanted to happen was so, to not quite remember what went on there right so basically the, what you experienced back then was a sort of like an alien abduction experience yeah, it's but very a very, uh, you know, and it's been hard for me to tell this story because the whole world's on these scary abductions that happen when, when mine was a very pleasant, loving, empowering one. It right. wasn't, yeah. Even if you're very present, like higher dimensional beings, sometimes still we as a human being on the third dimensional realm, we perceive as negative or so scary, but actually the truth, they are not scary, scary no. experiences. Yes. Some of these ones that people are talking about sound scary to me. Right, I uh, see. You know, like with probes and poking you and right. things like that, but that wasn't what these beings were. And I kind of feel and hope that by me telling this, this about what happened to me, that more people will actually tell their nice story. Because like for me, for years, I wouldn't tell this story because everybody was talking about these nasty stories. Right. And mine wasn't. And it was a complete contradiction to what they were talking about. Right. So, so Duane, then um, when you are <laughs> sort of like abducted, you know, th for three hours, do you think they, that higher dimensional beings, they did like, uh, did they like, uh, you know, positive implant it, like positive implants, or did they change your DNA, or did they like uh, energetically upgrade you? Did they do something to uh, you physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally? Yes. Uh, at one point, 
at one point there was there was a pyramid hovering over top of a I guess you would call it a desk or mm -hmm. a table or whatever. And this pyramid this pyramid kept turning slowly. Every time the flat face would come to me, I would see a symbol and the symbol would go right through my third eye into the back of my head, into the back of my brain. And it and every you know, every time the flat face came to me and it was turning all the time, a different symbol would come. And I don't know how long I sat there and this was happening, right? And it was only a, like two or three years ago that I figured out what that was. It just kind of went boom and then I could hear them again. And what that was and why that had to happen. Because many, what the symbols were, were star charts. Were, were star charts of different of different areas and and I could hear them say see the star charts are a symbol of the consciousness that lives there and there will come a time when we will all come from every place to change the vibration of this planet and will come through human form. And you need to recognize who these people are so that you can help them make the transition. Right? Transition as they take human form, but then they have the, the upbringing that we've had and the different things that we've had. And some have very not so nice upbringings, but that's all part of the suppression. And they'll reach a certain point in their life when they'll want to come out and be able to express what they know and change the vibration here. And you need to be able to help them. So by these star, by this, these star charts that they were putting in, if you connect to them, you will feel the consciousness of the people, of what their consciousness is like. And so it made it very helpful for me uh, to work with people because they they all have one thing they want to know their purpose and reason for being here right and so all we have to, I understand them on a deeper level who they are and we start to work and the next thing you know it pops out of them who they are why they're here what their purpose is and then I've seen it where people were severely depressed and all of this because they were trying to live what I call the hypnotic life. You know, they put the social mask on, they try to be somebody else, and they're very depressed and very sad. And then they finally come and they have a session, and when they have the session, uh, right away we get them to take the mask off and come back to, into who they truly are before they got here. And then they remember, and then their depression goes away because they're on purpose again. You see, they're on their mission. Right. Right. Seems like uh, for eons of times, for long, long times, uh, in this Western societies, uh, you know, I'm uh, actually originally from Japan, but um, those uh, countries or places that is uh, like um, people call it like a high technologies and evolved countries, those uh, people in those countries are especially very depressed and they are lost. And do you think, so I really think that it, it was really the part of the plan that those negative beings and the uh, beings, whoever have been controlling this planet Earth, they, they, they wanted us to be depressed. They wanted us to be, you know, uh, inferior and self-hatred and uh, yeah. like not being able to all of that all of that dear takes the vibration down and then people don't don't discover who they are this has been going on i mean one of the reasons that i went i went to greece is to get a feel for the what went on there to get a feel for the people to get a feel for the some of the ancient sites to get a feel for what took place because i knew that that Back in the days of the Egyptian, or the, 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 I say Egyptian because they cross over very much in a lot more than people know. Um, but uh, uh, in, the, in Greek times, the Hellenic times, they're called Greeks, 
Um, that was their name given to them. They're really Hellenics, which mean people from the sun. Mm. And the, at that time, uh, Zeus seen that they were going to rise in vibration and come into their natural evolution and be gods just like him. So he got jealous. Zeus, Zeus. Zeus. And it's written that Zeus put them into hypnosis and split them in two so that they would never find their revolution. So this has been going on eons to keep humanity out of uh, what you would call your God consciousness, which means that you aren't separate from this source. You are this source. When you approach it from this point of view, it takes on a whole different thing. When you approach it that you already are it, then you, ha then you ask yourself the question, if I already am it, then what am I, what's stopping me from expressing it? Rather than searching for things to come into your God consciousness, you already are it, but what is it within me that stops me from expressing it? Then that makes it a little easier to flow into what I call that magical consciousness. Where reality isn't as solid as you think it is. It's very malleable, pliable. And you can start creating your reality as you see. Right. So, okay, I, I have a question then. So you as a powerful hypnotherapist, the healer, light worker, so many of other people, you know, st also stepping out, stepping in to help humanities. I've been helping Japanese communities to try to make a way to as many people as up. Like we are all coming together and try to help uh, as many people as possible. But this uh, seven, eight billions of uh, people on the planet currently. And we can't reach the seven billion people at once or even take in our lifetime. We cannot reach every one of those seven billion people. But people out there in the spiritual community, we've been talking about ascension, human ascension. Humanity is changing. Mother planet Earth is ascending to the uh, 3D to 5D or beyond. Do you think, uh, you know, with, without your help, without other healers and hip, uh, hypnotherapists help, light workers help, all those seven billion people, they are gonna eventually be awakened and healed and ascend within our lifetime. The thing with it is, I'm gonna sh share with you something, ascend to where? Okay, there are a lot of uh, different um, different conversations has been going on, but so ascension means like as ascending from a 3D conscious level, 3D dimensional conscious level to 5D and beyond conscious level. It's not necessarily that we are go going from this place to this place. We are not being moved to the you know, place to place, but uh, our conscious level meaning our perception of ourselves and life like uh, our reality like so-called reality we you know people are talking about the uh, matrix we are we've been trapped in a matrix but we are breaking those matrix system yes and we're breaking those matrix systems when you personally go in and do this and go to a different vibration mm -hmm. that vibration goes out into social consciousness and maybe 1500 a thousand other people catch it and go through it and say there's something different they start questioning you see when we don't have to work on one at a time to do this for this many billion people what we have to and it's already it's already got to the point where it's an avalanche and the and the people you were talking about to try to control this, it's out of control for them. So it's already reached that point. We're going to have to now be more concerned with helping people now that they're out of it 
to help them align, focus on creating their own reality and moving out, not to get away from what's happening with these people because it's already over. It's already over. We have had so many people rise in vibration. If you can affect 1,500 people just by you rising into a higher level and it going out and people starting to question, it's avalanching. You see? So energetically, it's been working. So not necessarily we have to contact you know, physically, person to person. We, exactly. So because people are going to start questioning. I got so many people, I call it coming out of the closet. They come out of the closet of their spiritual closet and then they come in and they say, you know, I really all my life I've known that there's something more. And I go, you're right. And they go, well, you know, I, I've always believed that, that, that the things that were happening to me, I had something to do with that. And I go, you're right. Yeah right you're manifesting it and then they get in line and the next thing you know boom they're just exploring all that they can they can do with their imagination and creation they're moving into the magical consciousness is creation itself it's the same thing source is doing it's creating and you get into this what what i call the unbounded spirit that's about five years old and just loves to create well, people step into that and start getting excited about their life. Where's depression then? You see, it's gone. And right. this is what's this is what what happens, and it starts to spread in a in a in an energetic level to other people. It becomes very contagious. Contagious. Yeah. Keanu Reeves just did a, a whole talk on this about the fact that they've lost the game. And they are already behind, way behind the eight ball. They lost it already because humanity is cracking this thing wide open, right? And people are coming out of the suppression. So even though, because don't forget, they'll tell you anything, including the fact there's only a small percentage of people waking up, which is baloney. Really? It is absolute baloney. Yes, it's what they're feeding you. Remember, the system feeds you what they want you to know. So if that, if you think, you know, only a few people are waking up and there's all these other people to wake up, well, it's kind of a, a daunted tr task, isn't it? You don't want to do really, you know, because there's no point. So they're trying to get people to give up on this. The truth is, is that they're scrambling, right? Because it's too late. See, this evolution has been held back for a very long time. And it's time. I mean, if it's all the stories are right, we have the DNA of other, of other higher beings right within us. Right. And it's going to awaken. It's going to, that's what nature does. Nature, nature blooms. Na okay, nature, yeah. 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 So it's a, a wonderful, wonderful that what you, you are telling uh, right now, but then so I don't watch TV, I don't read newspaper, I don't know what's really going on around the world. But some, sometimes uh, we see, we, we witness, we see on the internet, fast page news or some friends or colleagues talk about like uh, South Korea and uh, ISIS and people being raped and murdered and kidnapped and um, tortured. So, and uh, some countries, uh, very unawakened country like uh, North Korea and uh, you know, some Middle Eastern countries, uh, how about people in those areas? Are they also waking up, you think? Mm -hmm. I think so too. And I also know that, that <clears throat> unless I hear a story from you, of someone you know who told you that this is going on there, it could all be a movie. Movie meaning um, not real, not, like not. Uh, this, this, the, 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 the ability to put film together, I mean, right now, I mean, I have the ability that I could be talking to you and a bright light could happen and I would disappear, but it's all, it's all to do with my knowledge in video, right? 
what do you think a mood could be or uh you know what i mean uh-huh. the thing that i know that i know is that i get to travel around the world and teach and 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 you know little events big events and i meet people and these people are not no one's to me they'd all invite me in for supper they'd all invite me in to stay they would all you see people people themselves don't have problems with other people i mean there are people that have problems with other people but people themselves aren't enemies to themselves it's ideas right so here here goes if if a leader of one country is a problem with the leader in another country why don't we put them in a boxing ring and let them box it out why do we send our kids to go get killed over their ideas you see humanity needs to just change their perception a little bit and look at it from a different point of view you see nobody can control you i remember a time when i was a child and we used to play this game called king of the castle and it was a big hill and we would climb up the hill and the the, the strongest ones would take dominion of the top and they would kick us of us down and we'd try to get to the top and until we got tired of that game and then we'd all walk away and create a new game that left all of these tough guys at the top by themselves well guess what next thing you know they're tagging along trying to get in on the new game right what i'm trying to say here is humanity's in 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 a position right now where they're going to turn away from the whole game and create their own game and these mongers will be left to fight amongst themselves vibrationally right humans will turn and just simply create a new game as soon as you get your attention off what's happening there and on to what you want to create right will leave the, they will be powerless they only survive off your attention and and your reaction to them i see i see okay now i another question then duane so again about the human ascension dimensional yes. shift and <laughs> some some people some channels some spiritual um spokes persons people they are publicly announcing that very soon in our lifetime possibly in our lifetime within 10 20 30 years so there will be no more death there will be no more depressions no more um like a job like a chore the job that we've been doing with our, our passion no more um, like money monitor system will be gone all the diseases will be gone no more suffering or even some people talk about there will so third dimensional realm is a duality place of polarity duality mm-hmm. but there will be no more duality so what would you say about those what i would say is yes this is coming yes this is going to happen and it's happening in you so i want you to think about what they got us to do for 2000 years for 2000 years we waited for someone to show up we waited for jesus christ to show up for 2000 years well he didn't he has but, but that did that kept humanity in a waiting game where they where they let go of their own power and waited for something to show up now what we're seeing is humanity stepping in and saying no i am i am this son i am this i am it and it's awakening in me and now this 
you see. So what I'm going, what I'm sharing with you is, as long as people don't sit back and say, it will come in 30 years, I don't have to worry about it, I don't have to do anything. You have to step into your energy. You need to, right? If you believe that, that that is a reality and that's coming, then step into it and do whatever part you can to change the vibration to make that, make that a reality in the world. But this time of sitting back and waiting for someone to come save us is not going to happen. You, we have to say us, right? And we are doing it by just simply raising our vibration. We're saying no to one vibration and saying yes to another. You see? We're saying no to depression. You're not going to take me this time. I'm going to just push you aside and enter, entertain joy in my spirit. And joy takes over and we've just moved vibration, you see. You see what I'm saying? Yes. As long as it isn't a waiting uh, program, because that's been part of the manipulation as well, is to get people to wait for something. Wow, interesting, interesting. So, okay, so we've been waiting for someone, Jesus, to come for 2000, over 2,000 years. And I, I just want to share with you, Dwayne, you might also I, have some. Don't get me wrong. I like uh, I like Jesus. I yeah, I, I love Jesus. Lo I I love what he was here to teach. I understand it deeply, though, very deeply, that he came here and he was freeing people, and they and and they killed him to shut him up, not for our sins. He didn't believe we had that, but they killed him to shut him up. And then put the guilt on humanity. Right. So, yeah, some um, some people manipulated that story and twisted the Bible. I, that's my uh, perception about the Bible, and the, but my perception of the truth of the uh, human history. But Duane, I yes. have I have met more than several people close to me, like around me, directly that nowadays. Uh, some people are all of a sudden transforming, transitioning into Christ, old Christianity all over again, from being a spiritual guru, spiritual person, atheist, another religion, whatever. But you know what? Like these past few years, people are be, you know, like becoming Christian. Very hardcore Christians. Have you met those people? No, they don't like me. Yeah, <laughs> they don't like me either. So I I have a YouTube channel, for example, Japanese YouTube channel, and uh, one uh, like a uh, one person for the past whole year. I think we on and on lasted about a whole year. She became a Christian last year. And she was preaching me about the Jesus second coming and I've been communicating, contacting uh, whom I'm, I've been communicating and delivering the message from is a demon, like a satanic entity or something like that. And don't believe yeah. what she says. And I've also met several people and I, I think I can mention her name. She's a um, world known uh, authors and the uh, angel lady Doreen Baju. Doreen mm -hmm. Baju recently, I think last year, January, she became a Christian and she no longer channel angels. Or well, she t publicly announced that all of the uh, angel tarot deck, the car uh, angel cards, oracle cards, please throw them away. And she. <laughs> So some people are really turning into Christian and they, they've been receiving messages from Jesus. You haven't heard about that. I, I'm so like wondering who this Jesus is. Well, I, I did hear something about the one you're speaking of doing that. And now that it's out, I'm starting to remember there was another one of my good friends who, who just flipped and went into that, right? And then is coming back and saying, you know, all kinds of things to me. But uh, 
it's just it's just I don't know if it's part of the part of a program that they've got going on that uh, you know does that. But if you take a look at Jesus himself, um, he said, uh, according to the book, mm-hmm. he said that uh, with the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Mm-hmm. He was teaching them how to have faith. There wasn't a word for imagination back then, so they called it faith. Mm -hmm. Okay? He also said, all the things that I can do, you can do even greater things. Now, that sounds like... uh, That sounds like somebody I... I like. Right. Right. That's teaching people that the power is within them. Okay, so even by their standards, uh, the Christian standards, uh, he was then doing wrong by doing that, right? Mm -hmm. The Father and I are one. That's blasphemy, right? So there's so many contradictions to, to that religion, okay, that... If they really took a look at it with an even mind, they would be able to see that if they wanted, see, God is supposed to love you, but yet he burns you in hell for eternity. Well, you know what? If I was to do that to another human being, I'd be locked up. So they're, whatever that is that they're following needs a, needs a counselor, right? Because it's a little off. Right. I wouldn't even do that to an animal. Right. So if I wouldn't do that, but yet God would, then I'm trying to be better than God, I think. I know, but so many people, uh, they, you know, people are waking up. It's included our psychic abilities too. Our, you know, our, all the senses are being heightened. Yeah. So third eye, our third eyes are opening, you know, chakras are all merging, or crown chakra is opening up, or I feel that myself. But just because of that, people started tapping into uh, um, other dimensions, other realms, and, you know, like a, if people are started channeling, right? Channeling. Yeah. So, yeah. and those uh, people who became Christians, uh, in, within the last several years, they say, you know, they I have met Jesus in my own, you know, like my eyes. I saw Jesus. I communicated with Jesus. So that uh, Christianity is the truth, only truth. And uh, you guys are all like being uh, controlled by demons. That's what people are really believing. And I wanna, you know, Dwayne also. I really feel I, that I had a like really awakening like last year. And I feel that so many people, even on the um, public places, like such as YouTube, Facebook, and uh, as a professionally, they are charging money and healing people and co- co- uh, connecting, communicating with the deceased loved ones. Archangels, ascended masters, spirit guys. Those, some of a lot of the, them, uh, I think they are not really communicating or channeling or connecting to ascended masters or real archangels or higher dimensional beings. They've been, they too, been manipulated by lower dimensional beings. That's what I feel. What do you think about that, Duane? What I think, even back to the story about people flipping is that this is the point where the rubber hits the road okay this is the point where you know the this increase in vibration that's happening in the planet is the cause of more people waking up okay so it's not as much as a wave coming that'll you know wave and then dissipate because they like to program that idea too i've seen this increase since 1978 I've seen it increase and increase and increase, okay? As this is increasing, more people are coming into an avenue where they're, the ones that are doing it in, if you're, you know, ones that will be doing it 
for the reason of something else other than helping people come into their own sovereignty mm -hmm. as a as a spiritual being coming into their own will be falling away and those people will start getting scared and when they get scared they're going to run to something okay so this could explain why someone would run uh, to something that they weren't part of before and actually left before uh, is because now they got they, they got scared and are running back to an idea like this because they want to feel safe right um, people that what was and I'm on, I'm on this why people would 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 abandon and run back to uh, say a religion and that's fine too uh, if they're scared run back right but with this vibration shifting more and more more and more truth is coming out so people people that that are doing stuff that aren't aligned or not even telling the truth to people just charging money it's going to be exposed people also need to to feel their guidance system they need to feel what is right and what is wrong you know what i'm saying and so if they're disconnected from their guidance system and they're just running to somebody you know what i mean mm -hmm. and they're ignoring their guidance system then of course that's what they're going to attract and there's nothing you can do about it um you there's you you let the people find you that resonate with you and that's all that's all you can do and let it just let it go and focus in on your own energy and keep it keep what you're bringing through pure and that's all you can do there's going to come a time when humanity is going to start really feeling the difference and they're going to start uh changing because I've went through that myself, being awfully concerned about a certain person or guru that was taking people down a path that I didn't think was right. But it only made me frustrated, right? Uh, it didn't do a thing to them or to the people that were following them. Uh, it only frustrated me. So I had to turn and I had to just go, I just need to be the, the, the best vibration of me I can be. And I got to know that the people are, the people are attracted to that at that, they need that experience. Once they have that experience, then, then I've seen them come to me and say, okay, I just had this experience with this. And I go, yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, here's how to line up. Here's how to, you know, get yourself in order. Right. Let's, let's go through it. Right. And then they line up and then they're good. But you see what I'm saying, right? There's nothing you can do to let the energy itself that's happening do it for you, right? Um, and stay in your vibration. I see. Love and allow them. If you can get to the point of loving them and allowing them, right? Allowing them to be who they are? Yeah, who they are. Because the thing it is is that just like others that go into something and then freak out and then run back to you see what i'm saying uh that'll happen or these people will evolve too with your vibrations towards them love and allow them right always uh, um there are false gods like false gods uh, trying to manipulate some of uh, some of us humanities and we we really unless we raise our own vibrations we really don't know if it's a false god or a truth or we've been deceived we cannot tell if there's one way to find find out it's a litmus test it works very quickly ask this god this angel whatever it is that's approaching you are you okay with me becoming a god in my own right and if it says no, get away from it. Wow. Okay. Uh, the second thing you want to do is listen to the talk. And if the talk that this is giving you is accelerating you to the, your own God within, accept it. 
And if it's degrading you or telling you, I've worked with people that said, no, my angel's telling me that I can't do this at this time because, and I'm going, I would question that angel. It's time. Because, and then I say, can I speak to that angel? And I'll speak to that angel. Because there's, yes, there is something going on with this uh, corruption in that field. Uh, but the thing it is, is that you got to know if it can't, if it doesn't allow you the freedom to come into your own presence, your own God presence, and it's not supporting you in that, and is trying to deter you from that, uh, that's the litmus test. You'll know right now. Ask it the serious questions. Wow. If it says, no, you can't be like me, well, then what are you dealing with? I'm the only God. Yeah. That is wonderful, Duane. Because always remember, folks, that this God, this source energy, didn't have anything to build everything out of. It had to build it out of itself. So by default, you are this God. And this, if you're speaking to the true God, it would not disallow you from being coming back home to itself. So you have to question. Wow. So whoever you are channeling, you may be channeling, you can always ask. Yes. And uh, this, uh, I think, so they, even the negative entities, they have to reveal the truth. They have to they have to well, state that's, the that's where the second one comes in because it may say yes of course yes of course but if you listen to the content is it taking you there or is it is it trying to get you diverted and moving over to something else that you you're not quite ready yet because if it says that because source energy the god is ready to accept you now not tomorrow not not two thousand years of waiting it's now so god the true true god or our source will never say it's not time for you you, you are not ready for that they would uh, source will never say that never because i've heard more than several times, uh, some channel has been told, it's not time for you. You are not ready for that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, that is really, really amazing. That's what you say. That's what you say to that, because the true source energy would never say that to you. True source energy, the God loves you. And you are one with that. The human race is the only, only race of beings that take the, 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 the God that is and denies it completely. Denies it. So here it is. And they deny their connection to it because they call it blasphemy. They call it, you can't, you know what I mean? You're not ready yet. You're not, you know, whatever. Uh, like I said to this one person one time, I says, maybe it's time that you go to Source Energy and give Source a hug. You know, just throw your arms around it and give it a hug and say, thank you. And this person flipped and said, Source, Source doesn't need that for me. Source is independent. I said, how do you know? I said, don't you need a hug? Right? Here's Source Energy creating all this stuff for everybody. And nobody goes and says, you know what? Hey, thank you. So that, what I was getting to was a connection, a real connection, a heartfelt connection with Source Energy. We deny it for some reason. We tell ourselves, oh, who are we to do that? Right. Who, this hierarchy thing that doesn't exist. That's male ego stuff. Right. Source Energy loves you. Source Energy wants you to create a fantastic life and have a delightful experience here. Right. So many of us have issues of self-worth. So we don't deserve that. We are not equal to that. We exactly. Yeah. Why? You know, 
Why? Because we we killed Jesus, you know, we killed the, his only son, which was all a lie. They killed him to shut him up and then put the guilt on humanity because it was an interesting tool for them to use to keep people in guilt. I know. I know. And we need to let go of that guilt. We didn't. We didn't kill him. I denounce that. Right. And I embrace the true Christ. I embrace him. Wow. So, okay, you say like true heartfelt connection to her. I, oh, are you okay? Uh, to, like a few more minutes, Dwayne? Uh, a few more and then I got to go. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So, okay, last, lastly, so you are talking about the heartfelt connections and, you know, connection with the source, connection with the each other. And also, I've been um, listening, hearing, and even my own life, I have that feeling that so many of us, so many people are connecting, finding our like um, soulmates. Some people say twin flames. So mm -hmm. uh, are you, you, are, uh, you are one of them, right? You found your soulmate, your twin flame in the right? Yes, uh, yes, and we won't we we personally don't call it anything uh or twin flame we just say this is who we are and but i feel it we both feel it we right. both feel we know what it is like soul just, connections yeah like yeah soul connections yeah and I, I will also had that too last year and uh, also i i i know who my deep soul connection soulmates are so, and a lot of people are saying that from now on, like starting from last year or last several years to 2018 and beyond, a lot of us are going to really reconnect with those soul, like deep soul connected, like connected souls, twin frames or soulmates, soul groups. So, um, is there any like good people that around you is also reuniting with those soulmates? Yes. And the thing that is, is what ha what's happening because, the d because more and more, along with the more we're waking up and more we're realizing, uh, you know, one of the things that when they took me, yeah, mm -hmm. is that I understood that, that this source energy and this God uh, is it more of a feminine energy than it is masculine? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So as this consciousness is returning through us, like we're becoming and we're all waking up and you see, we're also accepting the divine feminine, right? In us. All of us. Males right. are. So myself, I accept the divine feminine in me that I was both mother from my mother and father mm -hmm. and that the divine feminine is in me. And so as men do that and recognize that it's not uh, uh, something horrible, uh, you know, that they should fight against the, 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 the feminine within them, but actually embrace it. It doesn't mean you have to change the sexes. It just means you accept this inside of you that more people are doing that, you see, it opens that up for more people to come together. There's a lot of feminine, there's a lot of women that need to accept the divine feminine within them. That's They've right. gone so masculine uh, because that was part of the program. They right, felt the right. program here. And they have denounced their femininity and actually taken on a masculine, I agree. Uh, a feminine masculine role. I know. And when we come back to this, you see, and we are, more and more of us are coming to this. It's the same thing, you see, dear. It's the same thing. As we raise consciousness and raise the vibration, more of us are picking up that, which gives all of us the opportunity to rise in it. And then it creates more of it. So it's happening within us out. I see. I see. It's a that's, how come, that's how come you're seeing more of them connecting, is because more of them are accepting the, the divine feminine energies within themselves, male and female. Mm -hmm. Divine feminine has been suppressed for so long. Now divine feminine is coming to balance between divine, divine masculine and feminine and we are becoming like a whole. Yeah, 
And so now we find ourselves again. We find that 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 soul connection, that twin flame, that you know. It is really a, a very significant, beautiful time that we are in. It's we yeah. are very fortunate to really witness this shift, right? Humanity, humanity is been on this for some time, but we're here to see the transition from control matrix and keeping us uh, down so they could feed off our energy to we're going to recognize our own energy. But we're also coming into a sovereignty and our own independence, independence in individually. So we're moving into this independence and not so much uh, dependent on, a, you know, parents, a government or anything else. It's going to be hey, wait a minute, I have my own imagination. I can sit here in meditation and manifest that what I desire, step into it, feel it, and then, you know, in the next three or four days or the next day, it starts showing up. Holy man, what is this? Well, you're as magical as what you were from the beginning, but you're just waking up to this perception of who you are. So Matrix is really dissolving. Oh, that is amazing. So, Duane, so I have to let you go, but uh, would you do that again in the near future with me? I'd, I'd love to. Yes, I would. <laughs> because uh, there are a lot of more questions I've written, I, I have written, but I, I couldn't ask you <laughs> possibly. Okay. But so, uh, would you like to, so you also train to uh, train people to become their own uh, hyp hypnotherapist. That's Is right. That and and I, I teach them I teach the hypnotherapy program. It's taught in such a way that you're actually eliciting the gifts from the client out. So the client, these, these states that we're talking about here, entering into these states of being so that they manifest the reality. So that really the type of, of hypnotherapist you are is that you work with people and give and help them to bring their own power back out of themselves. So you don't have long-term clients, but you do have happy clients. Right. right. That's what we need. That Those are the healers and the uh, light workers we need. We, yes. we, we don't want to rely on a you know, healer or a, a therapist for lifetime. No. So. It's just to, just to get, your, get your bearings back, get your marbles back, and, and, and head out and start doing your passion. That's amazing, Duane, because so, up to now, so many of the therapists and healers and channelers and psychics, they, they, they become a, they form a, a relation, codependency, codependent relationship with clients. So mm -hmm. I have to go back. I have to, you know, I need him or her. I need this healer for my lifetime. And they've been working for years and years and multiple sessions. I think it has to go too. That's also part of the control systems. Yeah, yeah. It's an it's an idea. It's an idea of working with people for a long time, but then you get scared of letting them go because then what happens to your uh, your wealth or whatever? Right, fame, what, power. Yeah, and all that. But yet, yeah. But yet, working with in this way, uh, more people more people are magically, you know, feel the magic within themselves and refer other people. So it's, it, it really is uh, that you get to work with more different people. Uh, it doesn't mean that you draw, you know, but that's, that was the concept was holding on to people so that you had a, so amazing. And, and, and there's a lot of therapists out there and a lot of people that are doing what they're doing they want to help people and sometimes they just don't know another way um, to, to do it. And uh, this is all part of this education that's happening and awakening that's happening. Right? Um, that there are uh, other avenues that you can work through that, that uh, help you to free people into their own, own sovereignty. Yeah. Wow. So it's, lastly, would you like to say anything about your um, hypnotherapist uh, um, course, courses or work, workshops or seminars, anything? Well, one, 
is that I'm having an upcoming one, uh, and it's happening uh, February 28th. It's online, uh, so people can can take that course. It's course one of eight that I'm starting. So uh, that's coming up, and they can visit me at uh, DwayneHartman.com. And uh, let's see, I'm tr- I travel around. I go to other countries and teach seminars and uh, do that. In, Online workshop too. Yeah, in, in Canada and in Europe uh, that I have been doing it. And um, what else? Well, they can have personal sessions with me off the site. If they want to just... Uh, get in touch with me on uh, and sign up for my uh, email list. I sign up to my email list. I keep people informed as to where I'm going and what I'm doing and and that. And I'm also on f- a Facebook, of course, uh, DwayneHartman.com on Facebook or just Dwayne Hartman. You'll find my personal channel. He's really, Dwayne Hartman is really a um, powerful, powerful, really true, authentic uh, hypnotherapist and the light worker. I, I worked with him and I can actually guarantee, personally guarantee myself that he, his uh, uh, Hartman approach really works. And I, I still wanna learn, I, wanna, I, want, I want you to train me one day in the near future. I would okay. really like to take the course and you also have to come to Atlanta, Georgia area for a live workshop too. Yes, yes, I, I will do that. All right, so I like you. I like to invite you again. Um, thank you so much, Duane, for your precious time, and I really enjoy it. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful time together. Thank you very much, Keiko. So I will email you, but for now, goodbye. Okay, bye bye. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.